And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go down. And on the hill here today, Ranger Suarez. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Ronald Acuna Jr., the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. The 1 0. That's down and in. Misses with the 2 0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. 3 0 down. And now 3 and 1. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. And out number one on the grab. Batting second. The second baseman, Ozzy. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Yeah, but kind of hard to believe, but Ozzy Albies, first second baseman in Braves history to win a silver slugger. And he's won multiple silver sluggers now. That one hits ball. the dirt. Okay. One and oh. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. That misses. No, Two and one. Two and one. And another ball. Three and one. In there at the knees. And it's three and two. And he deals. On the ground to the left. Boom. Throws out to first. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Here's Austin Riley. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Out of here. He sends it out of here. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1 0. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Schwarber makes the catch, and that'll do it. Atlanta draws first blood with the solo shot. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. Welcome back. And today's starting pitcher, Spencer Strider. What do you got on him, Chris? Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So, so taking the mound, this is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. The why to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off.
Inside oh. just missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next oh. one is off the play. Two and one. And that one just missed off the outside edge. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Next offering is fouled back. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. That's shortstop. Turner. Here's Turner now. In there for strike one. You know, people may not remember about Trey Turner. He was actually drafted in the first round out of NC State by the Padres. Made his debut in 2015 with the Nationals. Won it all with Washington in 2019. He's been an all-star multiple times, and of course, he's won a batting title. Next offering is in for a strike. And Turner's been part of some big trades. It originally started with the Padres as he was a player to be named later that ended up with the Washington Nationals, then traded over to the Dodgers with Max Scherzer in 2021. Tarno snags it for the second out. Batting third, the designated hitter. Nick. Two outs, base is empty. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Oh. The 1 0. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next one misses, and now three and one. Bryce Harper up next. The pitch. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Here's Bryce Harper. That one ripped. Harris going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left. We move on to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Braves one and the Phillies nothing. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Matt Olson up to the plate. Matt Olson. The pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. The pitch. Swings and misses. And it's one and one. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, He's appreciated by both sides. That one misses. Ball two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. A yeah, left-handed batter facing a left-handed pitcher that's got some sink like that at the end. It's just the bottom falls out of it when it looks like it's going to be a pretty good pitch in that location that everyone says lefties love. Marcelo Zuna batting with one down takes a strike. Now 
Next pitch is downstairs. And he dodges that fastball. Straighten him up a little bit. And a pitch. Good eye right there. That clips the corner. Payoff pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Here's Orlando Arcia. Just missed. And the 1 0. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. Lead runner makes the turn at second, and they'll have runners at the corners after a one out single. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So, one out with two aboard. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Kevin Pillar. First pitch, and he just misses. And now the lefty. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Tapped softly on the ground. To second, there's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. Popped up. And it stays fair. Throw into third. In there safely. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Just a blue pit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Acuna signing bonus wasn't astronomical. Only $100,000. But a lot of talent as far as the family his dad, Ron, was a minor league outfielder, and his grandfather, Romo, was a pitcher in the Houston organization. Stott over to first in time. They get the out on Acuna. Third out. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Braves two, and the Phillies nothing. Bottom of the second. Now here, here is JT Real Muto. The catcher. JT. Real and here it comes. Yeah, when you just look at that uh, lineage, I mean, for him coming from Venezuela, you got to imagine that, it, you know, he's going to be a big leaguer with that type of, you know, training and coaching that you've had at home. Olsen makes the catch. One up, one down. Batting six. The second baseman, Bryson. This is Bryson Stott. And Acuna's two younger brothers, Brian and Luis Angel, are in professional baseball right now playing in the minor leagues. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Oh. 
Next Good one ball. in the okay. dirt. Oh, well, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. There's a strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. And a foul ball. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Swings and misses. Struck him out. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little that longer coming in from the opposite the side, play. but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Two outs. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Down quickly. Go to Phillies. They trail it here. 2-0. Back here in Philadelphia. Leading off. Ozzy Albies. Ozzy Albies. And the pitch. Ozzie Albee's a young guy that's putting together an impressive resume already two times an all-star twice he's won the silver slugger and he's one of the smallest players in the league that pitch gets the inside corner and it's one and one yeah but he packs a lot of punch in that bat especially from the right side this is a guy that had four grand slams before his 23rd birthday the only other players with four grand slams before their 23rd birthday Ken Griffey Jr. Eddie Matthews, Ted Williams, and John Carlos Stanton. Next pitch misses. Now three and one. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. In there and it's 0-1. Riley goes six feet, three inches, 240 pounds, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Rudder at first with no outs here. This one in the air right field. Harper has a beat on it. And there's one away. Now batting the catcher, Travis Darno. Travis Darno, next up for the Braves. 0 for 1 so far. Snap throw to first. Albies dives back in. Sliced hard but foul. Next offering misses. And that is ball one. The pitch. Oh. Albies at first, one gone. High in the air, out to right. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Here's Matt Olson. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Matt Olson.
pitch misses inside. Ball one. And a swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Step off throw to first. Albies dives back in. Ball to strike. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. And it's off the wall. Across is the runner from first. It's three zip. And in its second with an RBI double. Here's Marcelo Zuna. The walk and a run scored his first time. Ball one, no strikes. That one missed. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Runner at second, two down. And a pitch. Good eye right there. One. Orlando Arcia on deck for Atlanta. The 3 1. So now you, two on and two outs. Oh, you know, this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in no this batter. one. It's the second Ooh, time he's taken ball Orlando. four. Arcia. And the batter will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. First offering misses the mark. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. The pitch. That misses the zone. Two and oh. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Good hitters count the 2-0. And that one is inside. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Kevin Pilar in the on-deck circle. First and second, two down. There's a strike, three and one. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. At the belt and fires. And that'll oh. load the bases. He just hasn't had great command of his pitches in this one. Definitely more walks than you'd like to see. Here's Kevin Pilar. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. That's in for a strike. Hey, it's still early in this ball game, but you know this at bat right here could be a big factor in the outcome. You think about it, there's a chance to really blow this thing open right here. Lace down the line, could be extra bases. Now it rolls down into the corner. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's five nothing. Nicely done. Brings the home bat. two. Off the, the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking. And these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. And 
And the Phillies manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make a move. Ranger Suarez won't go any further. Walks a big problem for him today as he leaves on the hook for the loss. Back after a quick break with a new pitcher. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Christopher Sanchez. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris doubled his first time up. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Left hand batter waits. Strike two. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. 0 oh 2 now. That's the ball. One and two. two outs, two in scoring position. And it's even up. That one drifts inside. Ronald Acuna Jr. next to bat for the Braves. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. So they get three runs on two base hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Braves five and the Phillies nothing. As we go to the last of the third, and now the first baseman, Cody Clemens. And a pitch. And that one is inside ball one. That misses off the outside edge. Two balls, no strike. That one Three not balls, close. No Three balls, no strikes. And the right hander deals. And a strike in there. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Fouls one away, and now three and two. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Pilar going back, back some more, pulls it in on the warning track. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. First oh, offering and it just misses. And a good oh. eye there. Two oh. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. Yep. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Now back. No left fielder. Kyle. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Went down on strikes his first time through. Now remember, Kyle Schwarber grew up in Ohio, and so he got a chance to watch a lot of really good Cincinnati Reds teams. His favorite players growing up were Barry Larkin and Ken Griffey Jr. Now the 01. Right side. Albies sends it to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit.
Back here in Philadelphia, start of the fourth, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Great speed and great power, a great athlete, quite simply. Here comes a pitch. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent. Boots it. The batter, the second baseman, Ozzy Albury. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Now snap throw to first. Acuna dives back in. On the ground to second, might be two. Over to Turner for one. On to first, double play. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. That was a moonshot. His second home run of the game, it's 6-0. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. At the play, Travis Darno ripped into right center. Base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here is Matt Olson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Matt Olson, he's one of those guys with light tower power from the left side. You know, reached 100 career home runs in less than 400 games played. Runner leads away at second. Yeah, you know, Chris, only 10 other players have ever accomplished that milestone so quickly. And I am not going to list them right now. Off the mark oh, there. The and a count two and one. And a base hit. Travis Darno coming around third. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. And they're pulling away up by seven now. Well done, drives in the run. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Marcelo Zuna, next up for the Braves. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Olsen, the runner at first with two gone. And that's a base hit. Oh, he botches it. Now bad. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And yeah, the batter now, Orlando Arcia. That one's in there, 0 1. The pitch. 
That clips a corner. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And the 0-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next pitch is outside. One ball, two straight. Swing and a miss, struck him out. So two runs in the inning, five hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Braves seven and the Phillies nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Trey Turner now. Not shortstop. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Next offering is in for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. And one and two. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. And now it's three and two. Doubled up on the slider away. Two seamer here. Just watch and see. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One out in the bottom of the fourth. And Chris, that's a way now to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense no, breathes no, a no, sigh of no, relief no. because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Castellanos no. at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. Next pitch has popped up. Olsen right there to make the grab. And there's two away. The right fielder, number three, Ryan. Here's Harper now. Flight out to center in his first at bat. And that's too high. So two balls and no strikes. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. That one finds the zone. Now two balls and a strike. I think it was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. Hey. That pitch gets the corner. Two balls, two strikes. And the righty deals. And that is there, Harper frustrated as he's rung up on strikes and he lets the plate umpire know it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Not going their way. It's seven, nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now in for the Braves, Kevin Pillar. Sanchez back to work. Misses outside. And that's ball one. You know, these Braves, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Everything seems to be clicking. And the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. Next pitch is outside. The next offering misses. And that's ball three.
on the ground. Boom. Throws on to first. One away here in the fifth. Now batting the center fielder, Michael Harris. Michael Harris digs in now. One for two. Line drive, base hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan the to be aggressive. Fielder. You'll often hear the phrase, Aguilar. short to it, Aguilar. long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. Acuna in the box now, no balls and a strike. Chris, the tools for Acuna, the one thing that jumps out for me, power and power to all fields. I love his right center field pop, and we saw him in the All-Star game a few years ago. He looked like a left-handed hitter hitting home runs that direction. That's hard hit on the line. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. So two down now, and here is Ozzie Albies. And not just offensively, but this is a guy that has a cannon of an arm. He's to first, and they've got him picked off. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves seven and the Phillies nothing. Back at Citizens Bank Park, John Chobby with my buddy Chris Singleton. And set to get us started, bottom five, JT Real Muto. The wind of the pitch. Just nope. missed. One. one ball, no strike. Swings and misses. And the count is one and one. Righty to the plate. There's a strike. And now two and two. Two and two. Pitch misses there, and it's three and two. Three and two. This to third, and that's a fair ball. Up next for There's something about pulling one down the, the line baseman. and shooting it through the Boy infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Bryson Stott stands in for the Phillies. His first at bat was a strikeout. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Oh. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Stop. Tries to check his swing. Now we'll look to third. And yes, he offered at it. Now batting. And now Alex it's Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. First pitch, and he just misses. One and no. Oh. 
Swing and a miss. Blew it by him at 99. Boom. That's Cheddar, baby. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. And a ball in two strikes. Look out! Ah! And it hit him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, this has become a dangerous situation now. Missing spots on the mound and an opportunity for this offense to take advantage. Clemens stands in now and watches strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And now the no, count is the even. Real Muto, the lead runner at second. Boom. At first, one gone. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. And a Keep ball up. evens Keep the straight. count. Now all even up. Three ball. Two strike. Swings and misses, and two away now. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's now still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters right to get there. on top of. So first and second with two outs. Brandon March stands in for the Phillies. And takes low for ball one. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. The one, two. Now one oh. missed. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Oh. Next one misses. Three Full ball. count three Three. and two. And he deals. And there's ball, ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and now walked got the hitter. Left Man, you got to challenge the guy with oh, the fastball. Yeah. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. That's a little bit low. Base is loaded, two down. Swing and a miss, and the count is one and two. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. The pitch. And that one upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Snap throw. Phillies leave him loaded. They continue to trail 7-0.
back here at the ballpark. All Maybe set for the, the top of the sixth. Now the it's second the second baseman, baseman Ozzie Albies. Albies. The wind and the pitch. Albies oh. in his sixth season, 26 years old, and he's a native of Curacao. The 1 0. To the right side, stop. Gathers and throws to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The third baseman, Austin. And now, Austin Riley coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And yeah, the first oh, no. offering okay. is not close. Here's a fun fact for you, Boog. Curacao won the Little League World Series in 2004 with 11-year-old Jerickson Profar starting on the mound against the U.S. in the championship game. On the run, sends it over to first. Yeah. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Up next for Atlanta, the catcher, Travis Darno. And now, Travis Darno. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. First pitch, just misses. One note on Travis Darno: he was drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies in the first round. Twice he was traded for Cy Young Award winners. Roy Halladay, as he moved from the Phillies to the Jays, and then on from the Jays to the Mets for R.A. Dickey. In safely with a double, his second of the day. The nice job of the driving that pitch the other way back. on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now Matt Olson up to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Man on second, two down. Jack swing went around, one ball, and it's one, one and three. one. Just oh, missed. Two and one. Swings and misses. And the count is even two and two. Got him looking. Snap throw down to second. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Braves seven and the Phillies nothing. Well, we go bottom six, and now the shortstop, Trey Turner. Not shortstop. Turner measures six feet, two inches, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he won the silver slugger at his position in the National League last year. Two balls, no strikes to count. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to That's commit to one velocity and stay there. And that one fouled off. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see... A lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated now that he wasn't able to do anything with that hitter. pitch. You yeah. see it so well, but you no, have James. to respect no, no. the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. Castellanos oh. up for the third time here watches that one miss oh. 
pitch misses inside. Two balls, no strikes. Righty delivers. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. The pitch. And that's outside. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, now, knowing now. that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Well, Chris, what a career Bryce Harper has put together. On the cover of Sports Illustrated at the age of 16, first overall pick by the Nationals in 2010. He's won multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star appearances, and a Rookie of the Year to boot. Bryce Harper has turned out to be just as good as advertised. And there's a ball. Yeah, and has largely lived up to the hype. There hasn't been a more scrutinized ball player than Bryce Harper over the last 10 years. I mean, he's had a target on his back because of how well he did at a young age. But he's backed it up with a couple of MVPs and got his team to the World Series in 2022. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. Three one is on the way, and that's ball four. Well, he's been in a very giving mood today. Almost a hundred pitches through five and a third innings. I'm thinking he's probably done in the next couple of batters. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. First pitch, not close. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. The 1 0. -oh. And a foul ball. The 1 1. Oh! Two ball, one straight. Swings through that one for strike two. Castellanos over at second. Harper over at first with one away. Here's a 2 2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And now two gone. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good Number high fastball in a two strike Second situation, it's just become right such there. a problem for hitters. And more recent years I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate having a good grip on the baseball those high fastballs they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising even though they're not but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate so very difficult to get the barrel on it Stott stands in with two away as he takes a ball Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Now a long throw home, but it's offline. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Ryan Snicker out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Spencer Strider done for the day. Only two hits allowed for him, so a great effort. And we'll be back after a quick break to tell you about the new arm.
now on the bump number 48 and you know bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game so we'll see how sharp he is your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well and digging in for Philadelphia Alec Bohm. And the first the pitch misses for ball one. Right hander kicks deals. Flips the corner. And a count one and one. Next pitch has popped up. Now the throw to first on the he run. Did. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. A nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. And now for the Phillies, Cody Clemens. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. Activity in the bullpen. Colin McHugh getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. That's inside. Oh. One and two to count. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Next pitch misses, and the count is two and two. And that one off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a ground ball to first. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Braves seven and the Phillies one. Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. And now the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Sanchez back to work out in front with the swing and that is strike one action in the pen down there Craig Kimbrell a right hander with big strikeout stuff is getting it fired up Soto getting loose as well the 0 one swing and a foul back that's out of play here's the 0 two Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Wow. Short work to send him packing to start the inning and no now messing that. around either. All three pitches Orlando. were in the strike zone. Orfield. Attack mode all the way. And that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Arcia oh. batting with one down takes a strike. And a rope into center field, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And next for Atlanta, Kevin Pillar. Just no, off the outside no. edge. And the pitch. 
right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. The feed for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Braves seven and the Phillies one. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the seventh, and now the center fielder, Brandon Marsh. The pitch. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. Way upstairs. One ball, one strike. Left field. Pilar under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And a quick out number one. Now batting. Left fielder. Kyle. Back to the top of the lineup. Kyle Schwarber getting ready to hit. Center field. Harris has a beat on it. He's there. He's got it. Two down. Now batting. Not short Two outs. Base is empty. Trey Turner stands in for the Phillies. That's in there. And that's strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. At the belt and fires. And that is cut on and miss. No balls, two strikes. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Ball one there. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Phillies down in order. They're down seven to one. And welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Michael Harris. Harris. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Next pitch is outside. And that's ball two. That one blasted deep to right. Harper ranging back. And that one is going to go. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they tack on to their lead. It's 8-1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. In a 2-0 count, a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for, to be in the driver's seat here. He got a pitch that he could handle, and he hit that pitch really hard. Nice home run. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. So the batting order turns over. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First offering misses the mark. They say it went. One ball, one strike.
real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. And down on strikes. Snap throw. Oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat one. speed. It's hard Second to eight. bring that to a halt All once you commit it. Oh. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. All bees. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Jose Alvarado. The southpaw is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. All in one now. Fouled off left side. Right handed reliever. And that just misses. It's a good take. And he chases that one. Snap throw. Oh, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Riley in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And that's outside. Swing and a miss. Two and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Two down. Good job to fight that one off. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Got him. Snap throw. One hit in the inning, a solo homer. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Braves eight and the Phillies one. Back here in Philadelphia, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And the right hander back to work. And that's down and away. And the 1 0. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. And the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. That's to third, and he grabs it in foul ground. Here comes a pitch. That just misses. Two balls, two strikes. And the righty deals. And that one in the air center field. Harris has a beat on it. Makes the catch, and there's one down. The right fielder, number three, Brian Harper. And now here is Harper. Here Check swing go. of the first pitch. Look down to third. Didn't go.
Swing and a miss. That's strike two. The pitch. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Really love the pitch sequence right now there. I'm telling you what, catcher. pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And now it is JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. In there for strike one. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Two outs. Oh. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Oh, the next pitch misses, that's and it's two and one. one That one hammered, but pulled foul. Kicks and deals. And now it's filled up. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. And the right hander deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Down quickly go the Phillies. It's still an 8-1 ball game. We go to the ninth. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Darno. Travis Darno. Kimbrell back to work. Late with the swing there. And that clips the inside corner. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. The 0-2. And downstairs. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Got it by him for the K. Now batter. And now it's Matt Olson's turn now. to hit. Olson. First offering, and it just misses. One ball, no strike. Swings through that one. One and one. Here's a one-two. The punch out there, and there's two down. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Ozuna in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Oh. 
swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. And ball one. Here's a one two. Next nope. offering is That's outside. Popped in the air, left field. Puts the squeeze on it, and that is that. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It's the Braves eight and the Phillies one. Bottom of the ninth. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock. Bryson Stock. The pitch. Strike one. No ball. One strike. Here comes the 0 1. In there at the knees for a strike. Popped up. Riley makes the grab one down. Now batting third baseman, Alec Bohm. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm. And it's fouled away. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Not even close there. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Acuna makes the play, and there's two down. The first baseman, number 23, Cody. And digging in for Philadelphia, Clemens. Cody Clemens. Ripped on the ground a second. On the first, ball game. And the Braves take this one in a blowout. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And this one finishes with a final of 8-1. to one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. Final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Eight runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left eight men on base.